Hello. Our next case is a 72 year old male. Diabetic, hypertensive, post CABG patient uh, with a history of two episodes of TI in the last two months. The four vessel angiography reveals, as you can see, a left vertebral osteosynosis of around 80 to 90 percent. The left carotid system is normal. Right ICA stenosis of around 95 to 99 percent. Our plan is to do RCA stenting today. We'll go live now. You see, uh, when we do carotid, we make sure the temporary pacing wire is always in place. It's not a regular practice in most of the centers, but we do that. And uh, because it is not a transradial intervention course, uh, we have punctured femoral. Previously, we have shown uh, in trico courses uh, carotid through transradial, but here we are doing transfemoral because that makes sense to the new cardiologist who wants to pursue it. Transradial becomes a little bit more challenging and you know, we can do that, but I want to show a more simpler way. So Tejas, is your plan to get a long six French sheath up the common carotid? Uh, believe me, we are taking a seven French pinnacle. Carotid, uh, six French is good, no problem. Uh, if I am doing radial, I would have taken six French sheath. But as it is a, uh, as it is femoral, I take advantage of a bigger lumen because there is a chance always of air embolism and we, we don't want that. Yeah, just check it. Okay, the view, Achha, we, have, we have to first, this is a head hunter catheter and now Sanjay is uh, so pu pushing an extra stiff Emplars wire. And he is slowly withdrawing head hunter, making sure that extra stiff Emplars wire does not move. Okay. And now he has removed the sheath, regular sheath. Step. And this is a seven French pinnacle from, th this is a Tarumo product. And uh, for uh, carotid, we are using the Abbott assembly. It's okay. It's going smoothly. Now, I just push, you know, sort of inch by inch. I am not at all in hurry. Just, uh, uh, yeah, but that's right. And particularly when I have to cross that area, I have to, I will be very careful. I Kintur, your railway has a role to play here. Are you listening to me? Hello? I think I am, I am not audible over there. No sir, nobody is replied from there. Oh. 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 oh God. Anyways, I think we should go from this. This came out, no problem. Let me go in. We take multi-purpose from seat. Uh -huh. Even this guy that. Uh, okay. Huh? You can try. This has come out. It's okay. Anati? No, no. No, no. No, no. It's dangerous. Uh, so we remove, we remove the dilator. Multi-purpose. Get, get me a uh, 125 centimeter multi-purpose quickly. Or we can use that headhunter also. A head hunter can also, it will be but little shorter. Shorter. It's a so we have to take 125 centimeter long. 
Just let me know how many in the audience are doing no, no. karate. Let's have a show of hands. Uh, how many in the audience are doing karate? Maybe about 10%, 10, 10 if that. Okay. So, Tejish Khan, can we ask you a question? So, yeah. we, we heard the great clinical history. Let's say you did an angiogram and you saw a thrombus mm -hmm. uh, in the... Would you uh, stop? Would you keep going? Would you change Cannot your management? It? Yeah. It, it depends on the anatomy, Rajiv. If anatomy is favorable and if I can push my distal protection device without disturbing much, then there is no problem. Can we use okay. the Terimo air? Yes, you can use. Yeah, you, we can use. And if I am using a Terumo uh, in this situation, I will love to use a baby J, which we are using for radial. See, here this is tricky. And that's why I am going very slowly. And I just the constant pressure, nothing else. Constant pressure. I have to enter the lumen with this. You can push the, the, the catheter, I think. We push catheter and sit together. And there you are. Still, hmm. still, I think we are there. Still little more. You have to pull it back a little bit. And again, I am just giving a constant pressure. Yes, it dura. Hey, it's coming out. Le yes, this is yes, it. Fine. This is it, okay? Dry gauze, please. Just give a puff here. Okay. Give RAO. RAO. Let us record it. You saw this. This is critical. genuinely critical lesion. Now there is a you know the, the the question may arise that are we going to touch vertebral? No way. I think uh, this is a circle of villis. If you are keeping three arteries, fine. It's okay. Possible. And now filter preparation. Sanjay is showing a very very simple way of preparing the filter. He he has generously put the water inside and now you see what he is doing just, withdraw just this. withdrawing this filter okay. and he is ready finish this is embo shield this is embo shield we will give shape this wire is you know it's little stiffer like a CTO wire yes, right yes. so we have to be careful so he's giving a shape and which is a pretty generous curve and now here he pushed the wire along with the assembly in and of course now I will go without hurrying Now, yeah. We might have to give safe. Yeah, you have to pull it. Yes. Just any more, unless we give safe. May have to give a curve. Yes. Let me pull this back. No, 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 no. no. And go in. No, this is going in a different direction, so he has to give another tertiary curve. Uh, just take a give a shape. So these are few steps which we observe, and we just don't go on trying, because this is something where we can't stay in the circulation for a longer time. We are, we, if we are in, we have to finish it very fast. 
Tejas, do you pre-treat with atropine or phenylephrine, or you just use your uh, pacing wire? Pacing wire, nothing. And I tell you, bilateral internal carotid, when we are hitting the critical one, the, we usually don't even need pacing wire, uh, pay, the help of pacing wire. We use it because the brain is so conditioned. But uh, like the major problem is a relatively borderline symptomatic lesion. And there I am. Torque. Sanjay has given me the torque, so I will be using it. Uh, now the secondary curve, the tertiary curve yeah, was giving me problem, but I have been able to cross it. And then I hold this and push my device in. Inject. Fine. Little more. A little more. This this is coming in the way now. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. All assembly. Okay. okay there you are. are. Now Sanjay will deploy this. So just remove this red. Just tell okay. me. I will give Sine. Yes. You give okay. Some. And just pull it, and it will be deployed. It is deployed. Okay. And then I am removing this. Niche badao. Kanda ko wando niye. Niche a poru kar ne nichu batai mane yar. Ek mein kochu kor de wo. Na mein kochu na kari. Chal le cut. Sanjay hi aayi. Straight. Why no questions? It means you guys know everything. <laughs> so t tell us your strategy here. You're going to do a direct, direct stent do or predilate? Pardon? No predilatation. No. How much oversize we have to do for this uh, protection device? What do you mean, Ajay? Oversize? Means, uh, if the carotid artery is suppose 5 millimeter, then you have to use 1, one millimeter more size. Yeah, that, 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 that's right. We are using a normally a bigger one. And 3 by 40? Huh? 3 by 40? Yeah, sorry. Uh, 8, 8 to 6 by 40. Ah, eight, yeah, 8 to 6 by 40. 30 also will 30 be good here. Because good. We, have, we have a good landing zone in the proximal internal carotid. Yeah, much, much. Like, a stand by Ajay, uh, which system you use? Uh, now, uh, abid, abid. at our center, abid. Uh, now uh, interventional radiologists are doing carotid. Previously, we used to do with the uh, uh, Cook's. Uh, but but uh, let me tell you, they, 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 they take very, very long time, most of them, to finish. And do I think it, it, it is it can definitely be done better by the interventional cardiologist. This is my personal view. So just for the audience who don't uh, know, so don't do this very often, this is a tapered stent, that's that's self right. self-expanding open cell. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That is exact stent. It is exact. This is the stent. And it's six at millimeters at one end and eight millimeters at the proximal end, is that right? That's right. And one of the things that we've learned with the carotid stenting is how uh, helpful it is to look at the sheath tip, keep it in your field of view, because with the tortuosity, you can, everything can prolapse downward. Is that and something I that you there. routinely do? Excuse me, just a moment. Let me just position this thing and then, uh, yeah, just see. We have to go in now. Mm. I hope it goes in. Yes. It is tough. It has gone, okay? Still little more. I don't think so. Yes, right. Perfect. Uh, this is so yes, yeah. Sir? What what was the question, Raju? No, it was just about keeping the sheath in your 
okay. field of view so you can uh, prevent the prolapse into yeah. the aorta. I am pu pulling it a little back. Inject. Yes. That's right. Inject. Inject and see. This is so precise. Okay. This is equivalent of deploying the wall in tower. Sanjay is deploying. Yes. That's it. Nicely. It's a perfect deployment. So sorry, Rajiv, once again. <laughs> no, no, that you're doing an amazing job. We're, we're loving watching this. Please keep going. Okay. So again, one of the one of the questions now about post dilation is that I assume you're going to just aim for a 15, 20 percent residual. Just that's right. That's right. We take a five millimeter balloon and dilate it. It may be at eight or ten atmosphere and then uh, we allow the self-expanding stand to do its job. Filter. We want to inject and see. Yes. Fine. Nice. Spasm. This is a spasm. Mm. Distally. But it's okay. Now five millimeter wire track. 14 plus. And so far, no uh, blood pressure or heart rate problems? Uh, no, uh, 110. No. See, because it is in internal carotid, it is yeah. not in common carotid. We, yeah, we have not, you know, brought the stent in common carotid. It's a, it's a very, very nice point, point Sanjay is making. So maybe in this case, we may never need pacemaker. Hmm. Because there was a good landing zone, Rajiv, there. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Uh, you, you, now is a, also a time you may get the... Uh, Baroreceptor response, but I take your point. Okay. You're, you're sparing the common so carotid. We go. Yeah, we go. Eight, ten. That's it. Ten. That's it. I think I will not be tempted to go high. Raji, what will you do? I know you, you do a good number of carotids. I, I, we completely agree with you. The goal here is not perfect 0% uh, 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 stenosis. You want to have 15 to 20% because we're trying to trap the plaque behind the stent, not treat brain angina. Okay. Yes. This looks beautiful. beautiful. And there is, there is a method to retrieve. Now we will retrieve it, uh, the, the filter. Re ritual, and ritual, uh, Rajiv, ritual. what is your experience? In our experience, as of now, we have never got anything <laughs> in this uh, protection device, nothing. So since last many cases, we have even stopped you know, examining or inspecting it after removing. I think I think that's the experience of many people. It's always disappointing to look. Very at disappointing. Very retrieval disappointing. Catheter. This is a retrieval catheter. And Tejas, do you routinely do um, neuro checks or cerebral angiogram afterward, or how, how do you? Tones view, huh, Sanjay? Mm -hmm. We we take one tones view, AP cranial just to make sure how is the cerebral circulation. We'll show that. Wait, 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 not now. L I'm removing this. Mm. No. I'm going little in. More, little, more. little more. Little more. Go up. Little. Show me the, show me the filter. Show filter. Yes, sure. I have gone almost near. Ah, no. Now I am recording it. I am pulling it back. Filter is in and I am out. And always generous back bleed we, we make because, you know, uh, there is a good chance that air may suck in the brain. Okay. Uh, let us record. Uh, see. Fine. What do you think, Rajiv? Well, th this is a spectacular result. And, you know, you guys did it so quickly. There were so many steps we were watching you do that uh, really made it an excellent example to show Epic here. Radio. So really love it. Thank you, Rajiv. You know... Uh, this is the view we we'll like to take. Just make it uh, uh, paranasal sinus central line should be in the central line of the skull. Uh, okay, fine. 
A little bit more. Okay. There's two lines. No, 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 no. Mathu na allow da. Two lines should be one. Two lines should be one in the center. No, not this. On this side. Line, ek jo hi jee. Ha. No, no. Arre, tya the na allow. Two na allow is dost. No, no, no. No, come on this side. Aju, 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 aju. More, more, more. Okay. Oh, that's it. There Fine. you are. Okay. So it's spilled nicely. Beautiful. 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 Congratulations. That's Thank a, that's you. That's a wonderful presentation. A wonderful case. Thank mm. you so much. Thank you. Now, now I want an opinion poll from the audience. Do they want any case or there is information overload? We already have a robo case. If you guys are tired because you have to come for the gala dinner also uh, and there may be some traffic. So I, I leave it to you guys. If you want, we can show one more robotic case which is already ready. If you guys are tired, we can disperse and, and again assemble for the... Uh, for the dinner, tell me. Okay, so this is a democracy, and we have yes. a show of hands. So <laughs> I, I'm going to ask people first to show their hands if they want to stay for a case, and then if they want to go. So hands up who wants to stay for one more case. Yeah. Okay, hands down now, and hands up one who wants to go. Tejas, I'm afraid you have to do one more case. Okay, that, that we will do that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> make you work hard. Yeah, no problem. Somebody, somebody here to hold. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, she's thin. Thank you. Uh, we are shifting to the north lab for a robo case.